Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Keith Droz's live streaming of my Elite Dangerous Journey. Today we are in the Athate sector, uh, having just arrived here last night and going over to what is a semi, seems to be a semi nebulous system, which has a planet here that we can land on for what apparently is a view of the pink veil this is on the beagle x point expedition route the beagle point expedition is leaving on january 20th if you're interested um i'm already in the midst of space out here so i'm going to just go ahead and uh, hit up some of their milestones since i'm going out to beagle point on my own and here we have the athape sector today uh, of the pink veil let's go ahead and copy this and again we're going to, to the uh, site pink veil which is a site on a planet so i assume we'll have some uh pink uh, dirt there to stare at and then here are the coordinates of the planet we're going to try to land at today and that's always fun not overshooting that but just one moment here as I get my ship prepared and we'll uh, take off okay See here in the galaxy where we're at. Let's make it look pretty. We're at this. We're going over. See to this nebula right over here. And we are getting ever so close to the center of the Milky Way galaxy in this game, Elite Dangerous Sagittarius A. That is the super black hole uh, at the center of the galaxy. There, super massive black hole, rather. From my journey, I've come all the way over in the last couple of days from Colonia, which is in here in this cluster, in this nebula, and have journeyed all the way out. And it takes a long time, hours and hours and hours. It's a three-hour live stream from uh, last night, I think, to come all the way out here. And that's and to give you a perspective. Earth, as we know, is on one of the outer rims, or outer uh, arms, which is right here. Earth and the populated sectors in this mass. So I've come all the way out to this area called Colonia in the game, where there's another human uh, population center. And that's it. After this, if you go out anywhere else, you know, around here in the galaxy, you are not going to find anything, any outposts, any star bases, any, any uh, planets with bases to land on, etc. You are all alone. So from the point I left here onward, I am alone. Hopefully I have enough of equipment to keep me going along the way. I actually ended up backtracking 8,000 light years uh, and have now just come back uh, and have surpassed um, that backtracking in order to uh, in order to get where I'm at uh, right now because I had to pick up some repair drones because I get lazy sometimes at night. Fall out of warp, uh, neutron stars, which ends up giving you lots of damage. So uh, here we are time to fly over. And I thought we selected that and it's not going to, is it? Alright, one more time. All the systems should be on. Here we go. Space here and a neutron star. I always set the throttle down so you don't get sucked into it. And just a moment. I'm going to scan the star in the system here. And here's our system. Neutron star. People 
have been here before. And we are going, let's see what that uh, spreadsheet said again, to go to planet 3, planet B3A. B3A. Let's take a look around first here. Actually, first, because this may or may not lower our fuel usage, and we can just use it for later, I'm going to go ahead and get supercharged. Take a look around the system here. Nothing too remarkable, not much hint of the nebula here, it would seem. Unless we're just looking in the wrong place. But let's go over to this. Maybe it's just because we're in the midst of it. But the description says there is little of it left due to a bunch of stars pushing the gas out. So let's go ahead and find our planet. B3A. So imagine this will be the B star and this will be... Um, one, two, third planet over, and this would be the A. With any luck. Hmm. Oh. Well, 25,000 light seconds. This will be a while. Well, I'm going to guess this will probably take about five or six minutes to get over there. Got a couple of vehicles. Cool thing about this game is if somebody else plays it, they can hop in as uh, into your ship, like right here, even though they might be, you know, their ship might not be in the same system, they can holographically get themselves projected into your ship, and there's some things they can do, I guess. Uh, I haven't messed around with that before, um, but they can help you out with some of your systems. Um, at the same time, you go land down on a planet, can both take off in some buggies should you have a pair uh, like I happen to though mostly I brought a pair because well I have a feeling one just might blow up and I don't think there's anything you can do to craft a whole new uh, uh, SRV on the go so not maybe just in case you know I got into a tumble I couldn't recover and repair out of uh, maybe it might be good to buy a second one or get, bring a second one reason being is that um, there's all these things you can synthesize in this game here. Like if you're one of my followers from Eve Online, 
Um, so it's kind of like we have nanite paste to repair ourselves on the go. There are certain things you can do to repair yourself, uh, like some of the like some of your uh, your vehicle stuff down here, or your actual ship. Like we're going to be using uh, FSD injection later, which but it means I need all this stuff. Well, where do you get the stuff? Well, to get the stuff, you need a little car to run around on planets and then move and get the stuff, more or less. There's sometimes other places to get this stuff, but you might as well run around on craters on moons or planets or wherever happens to have the right amount and the highest percentage of what you're looking for. So even out here in the midst of nowhere, if things start to get bad and I have to, uh, uh, for example, uh, frame shift drive here, every time you use a neutron starburst I get damage. It was at 100%, I got boosted earlier, it's at 99%. Eventually it goes down to 80%, beneath that it starts spritzing out, so it needs to get repaired. Well, this repairs it. Well, this kind of like nanite paste to me that has a finite number there, 4878 is going to use them a certain amount every time I repair it. Well, what happens when I run out? Well, cool thing is, I can use these synthesis here to replace it. So I can do 11 whole refills just from using the basic type of synthesis here, some nickel, zinc, chromium, medium, fairly common uh, stuff found on uh, planets, moons, whatever. So if you need a refill, if I need a refill on this, all I have to do is stop off on a planet for maybe half an hour, hour, go around, collect uh, as much as I think I need, and off I go. Can't repair everything though, needless to say, the unit doesn't repair itself. And there's other important things like your power plant, which it does not repair. You can repair other interesting stuff like your canopy, that could come in handy, right? Your glass starts to crack open. But some things can't be fixed, so you got to be careful out here. I have like another 50, 60,000 light years to go. Something, I don't know, 40,000 light years at least. A quick hello to whoever might be watching me on the stream right now. See, we got a few viewers out there. Okay, we're looking for three A. Hey, here we go, 3A. Oh, there was another, oh, there it is. It's behind it, in front of it, in front of it. This should be three. Yep, all right, let's go back around. The second one here is what we want. Now the coordinates, that's always fun to try to remember. The coordinates were... Twenty-four point six, negative thirty-one. Twenty-four point six, negative thirty-one. No latitude and longitude there. 24.6, negative 31.4. Put some mics to view this planet. Hopefully it's on the lit side. And, uh, oh, there we go. Been missing our lines here. Where are we at? We're at. That's hard to see. Seventy two and negative one forty seven going down. Okay. So we do this a little more. Then we're going to need to go. 
negative 31 the other way. And we're going to 24 there, so almost there. Need to get down to ninety, I think. Deep. Well, that took long. Just go the other way. Okay, twenty-four point six. Bad piloting at the moment. Real bad piloting. Sorry about that. I'm just uh, squinting too much at those numbers. Yeah, not a good color. Uh, it did not go well with my HUD. All right, and negative. Where are we at? Negative 31, negative 81. All right, let's start losing some altitude here. Oh wait, it's beneath us. That's the other planet, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> All right, negative 31. We don't need to get too low too quick here. Back up to 24.6. All right, now let's crash this party. must be down here somewhere shoot it's underneath us now eh. 31 should be right beneath us now Six. Whoa, whoa, come over, come over, come over. Hey, there we go. Well, it's definitely pink. Probably not much gravity, so we don't have to worry about that. Nonetheless. Turn ourselves around at 270 here. going the right way? No, I need to go back to 31 actually. Negative uh, twenty-four point six, and oh, I am going the wrong way. See, darn it! What the hell? I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Long day. Almost there. 31. No, I gotta go around that. And 246. There's 246. Let's go back to 270. Oh, 
All right. And let's take a look here. Oh, that's all it's going to want to zoom out at the moment. And this is it, folks. Here's the pink veil. That's a good place to land. Oh, what's that? Is that right underneath us? Yep, and we're right on the coordinates here anyway. Let's not go crashing into it. Alright, hope this is stable terrain. I assume that's why somebody picked this as the place to land. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, there's probably something over here. Oh, there we go. Very careful. Like I said, long journey ahead of us, more planets to land on. Very careful. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Whoo. Okay, what's this here? What's. Oh, I know. We got to turn it on. Oh, flying in to kinda. I got a question there in the live chat. Sorry about that. Yes, Durancher. What's up, buddy? been a while. Um, yes, it is an anaconda. I'll uh, do a little tour around it here for you in a second. Oh boy, wow. So as we get closer and closer to the center of the galaxy, oop, there seems to be a little graphics bug in here. I've seen this before. Um, the this, It gets brighter. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. Lovely bugs there. Um, because there's more stars, right? It's in the galaxy. So it's just, it's amazing as you get out here the beautiful starscapes and the cool thing is those stars are real it's not just like a background map or whatever that changes every sector you're in or something like that all of those are actual you know real stars that are out there you know in this map and everything that you see around us here so they're all actual stars out there all rendered in um you know so pick one and Actually, if there was a way of identifying it, as far as I know, there isn't. But say you wanted to go to that one on the left. Uh, yeah, no, it exists, and you can go there. It's not just as, at least as that's what I've been told. Maybe with anyone, that's the truth. Um, all right, here, let's see what we can do. All right, ground seems to be a little more stable now. No more graphics issues. Um, whoops, there we go. Ooh, here. Uh, Live streaming, folks. Nice and jittery. There. Someone hasn't mastered their camera controls yet. So, I had, uh, I thought this would be a cool skin to take out here. 
Um, because it lights up, and where we're going, there won't be any stars from the galaxy left. It's going into a black void, so we're going to need light. Might as well bring our own. Uh, speaking of light, here we go, folks. Taking a look around the pink veil. Uh, that's a nice view of this uh, planet next to it here. Use a mouse to do this any smoother, maybe. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Take a picture of that. As the operatic music kicks in. It does that a lot when you're on a planet like this. Oh, here, there we go. Upside down. Beautiful view. So, nice thing is, oh, whoa, very low gravity. something that a booster there we go so we'll just uh, maybe take a short drive around here oh. the nice thing is if you don't want to spend any synth material repairing your SRV when you go back into the mothership it will repair it for you um, however it does ooh it does not refuel it I believe refueling is automatic once you dock somewhere, station, outpost, whatever, legitimate place. Because I don't believe I, you actually get to see that in the fuel breakdown. You just, it just refuels, I think, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, but no, not out here. You will have to spend synth material to refuel it uh, as you go, as you lose it. And that would be right here, so we're good to go. 29 refills. Um, oof. So I'm a little worried about driving any f too far on this due to the graphics glitches. I don't want some weird crap to happen where this blows up and and I'm back in the Anaconda. But I kind of wanted to make it up that ridge. So, oof. Explorers, right? No pain, no gain. Driving is... Okay, you know what? Since the driving is this difficult, I'll just fly. Haha. <laughs> Worth it. And if we don't want to drive back, we can always send our ship back up and then tell it to come over and land next to us, which is pretty cool. Its autopilot is rather smart. Oh, crap. Alright, so that ridge just keeps getting farther and farther in the distance there. But, let's keep going. Alright, there we go. This is a beautiful pink and blue. Makes for almost a purple effect. Lavender. Hot lavender. Yeah, I'm not using a HOTUS. I promised myself I'd get one. Oh, shoot. There goes our ship. Well, <laughs> end up having to call it back now. I'd have to wait for it to complete its sequence. We're getting out of here. So I guess we can go on a little more. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually using an Xbox One control at the moment. I promised myself I'd get one of those HOTUSes. But I really haven't had the time to go to like what percent or somewhere cool and uh, and test one out, you know what I mean? And then presumably buy it from there. Because I don't want to just say, yeah, oh, I read reviews and then never touch the damn thing and then you get it. And either it's, you know, it's just, you know, it just it turns out to be something you don't like. So hands on, once I get the time figured out, get one of those. Because then you got to spend the time to program it, make it do everything you want, and I'm already trying to spend, I'm already trying to figure out, you know, editing video and, and, and broadcasting it at a great quality for y'all to watch again. Haven't done video in a long time, so 
Thanks to Riverini today from Eve Online and also the owner of Whoa Crap. Eve News 24. Oh, 82% structure. You see that there in the mid bottom right? 82%. I gotta be careful. Alright, this is getting crappier. Maybe I need to go to Flat Touring and call that ship. So yeah, Riverini runs Eve News 24. Help me out a lot. Go figure, he knows media stuff. And now I can figure out how to use Premiere again. Yay. Alright, is this is this some flat terrain? Can the ship land down there, you think? I don't know. I'm I'm not convinced. What have we got up here? Oh, that's no good. Space people problems. Alright, let's get down here. And call the ship. Because otherwise it's 40 minutes of that. Yeah. Oh boy, it's, is it even going to want to land anywhere? Um, Alright, good enough. should see it up there. Anywhere yet? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. Well, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Down goes the landing gear. Let's see how good that autopilot works. Uh, it thinks it's found it. It'll land a little crooked and stuff, too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oop. Oh, come on, camera. Why do you got to do that? Uh, like, oh, it's out of bounds. Yeah, but it's... Oh, I crashed again from departure here. Uh, do you have your highest graphic settings at the moment? Yeah, I'm running um, 4K, uh, and you should be, it should be streaming in 4K, I certainly hope. Um, and it is uh, running the highest for uh, Elite Dangerous in-game. All the in-game settings are the absolute highest. Board ship. Alright. And they fold in and up we go. Hey, you know what? The lights on the wheels match the planet. That's that great. It's perfect. Probably won't even find a better uh, color than we will here. So much thanks to those people over at the Beagle Point Expedition. If you want to know more about their expedition coming up on the 20th, you can go to, oops, you can go to, let's see, the forums, the Frontier Forums, Beagle Point Expedition, right? All this cool stuff by King Inferno, who's probably setting it up or at least posted this for everybody. So here's the route that I'm taking essentially here. I've, 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 I was in Colonia. And this is where I'm going. We're right here now. Athape ZP-P. See, Athape ZP-P here. Actually, you might not see my mouse, but it's the bottom right corner. It's the green. And the lower bottom there is the 1. Uh, you got zero, 0 for Colonia and green at the bottom. Then zero, 1 underneath and zero, 2. And then we're, we're at zero, 03 over there in the green. And then uh, next is, uh, is actually, for me, is going to be um, Sagittarius A. That stew mirror is right next door anyway. And then from there, I'll be hitting up these other uh, waypoints, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Because like I said, you have to come around the, or in another video, you have to come around this loop or this arm and, and come out here anyway. To Beagle Point. And then I could probably follow their path all the way back down to Colonia here. Both of these routes are equally as long. And, um, and thanks to these folks and all of the people who've explored these uh, systems before... 
going to be pretty nice. So off to the big black hole at the center of the galaxy. Never been there. I've only ever even been out to Colonia once before this trip. So uh, this is, you know, as far as I've ever been in the game. So now that we got everything together here, let's go ahead and turn on and off what we need. Um, as we can see, I'll show you what I was talking about. The We got fuel 92%, but the hull, the hull's back up to 100%. We damaged it all the way down to 80s or lower. So uh, nice and repaired in our ship, but don't get fuel for free. I'll turn it off for hangar to save some fuel here, and it looks like everything else is good. Thrustals will turn on when we leave. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, do a nice takeoff here, and then we're going to end the stream for just a minute or two, and I'm going to start it back up if you're watching uh, so that we can end the clip of this video, and I'll keep it as like a video for this system, and then the next video will be... You know, um, there's probably only about a dozen or so jumps. Let's see here. Let me pull up. Yep, yep, yep. The Neutron Router. Thanks to the folks at SpanishCo.uk um, for their Neutron Plotter. There's are, there are a few of them. If you use it, the only tip I suggest is just make sure you put your efficiency at 40% if you want the least amount of jumps. That's all I'm going to say. It's short, short tip. All right, so we started off in Colonia. Well, we actually started off in Earth and went all the way to Colonia near Earth and went all the way to Colonia. Um, but then from Colonia, we've managed to make it all through all of these jumps, uh, dozens and dozens of jumps. And this is where we're at, AFIP uh, there in the blue, 7P or ZP-P. And then from here, we're going to go, it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so probably 20 or so jumps down to the black hole. So that is going to be our next uh, segment of the video, uh, is going to be the trip to Sag A and then the video after that, Sag A. So, and then beyond, right? So here's... <laughs> Here's it gives you, uh, so there's the Stu May from the map, right? And then a whole bunch of insane jumps before the next one. And then there's another, it looks like a waypoint's pretty close after that. Then a lot of jumps, so dozens and dozens of jumps. And more, and more, and more, and more. And you can see just, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more. And then you're finally at Beagle Point. As you can see, just from Colonia, just from Colonia, 75,000 light years, 779 jumps, and mind you, I had to backtrack like 8,000 light years of this. Um, so like four, I think four back and four back forward. Uh, so plus the 25,000 to Colonia. So it's going to be 108,000 light years by the time I just get there. And then I have to make a return trip just at least to Colonia, another 75,000 light years. So this is crazy. It's going to be, uh, um, you know, 150,000 light years, 100 plus before I see home again from this trip, or at least see Colonia again. All right, so uh, let's take off. But then again, uh, this will be our next segment here. That being the next system. And to be fair, actually, you don't have to go to super, you don't have to warp off the planet. You can actually hyper jump, hyperspace jump off the planet assuming the planet isn't in the way of your target. And I have a feeling this one might be, so whatever. All right, hang on a second. Do you all have meeting points with other players, Darash asks. Um, the Beagle Point people will, um, and if any of them catch up to me, then, you know, certainly. But no, that's like their expedition, they'll be meeting up with people, they go out and stuff like that. There's an expedition out right now for charity, uh, the Dove Enigma expedition. Um, I'm also, uh, it's for the St. Jude's uh, Children's Research Center. If you notice, the card, the ad in the top right of my stream is for the same. Um, I'm hoping to, in setting the distance record, uh, uh, you know what I mean, just raise a little money on the side or something cool, because um, I couldn't get in on that expedition either, because I was on the to get down here and everything. Um, so. Um, but I do have some cool stuff in my cargo hold here. I went and got one hunt and mug, and it's got Dove Enigma's name on it etched in there. And I managed to get a Jacques still. This is an actually like a pocket still. It's a it's a it's a self contained Just give it a liquid, and it will make you booze. So I figure we're gonna kick these out. You know, as if I can make it out there to try to set this distance record, I'll kick these out in the airlock. So that if aliens ever find them, they'll you know have this hunt and mug. Uh, to remember dub by and then um, they'll have this still to get drunk on you know that that's definitely for me If you're wondering what these limpets here are they're drones 
essentially, and if you're from EVE Online, uh, 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 Elite Dangerous has drones that you can either rep other people or rep yourself. And that's actually what I went back to Colonia and did all the backtracking for, because I, I didn't really know that there were drones that you could use to rep yourself. Figured it to come in handy, since it's going to be forever that I'm out here. Okay, and it, it does it loves to wipe out our destinations, don't it? I'll forget it. Oops, left a little bit. Make sure I don't crash in that other planet. Yay, there we go. I need to stream in, folks, but that's as good as you get from camera work out of me for right now. Alright, and that concludes our stream. We'll be picking it up in a couple of minutes because I notice if I stop and start it immediately, YouTube just keeps sucking the videos together. I actually need to give a little bit of time, so streaming tip for anyone else out there interested in, in uh, projecting boredom like myself. And Darash, yeah, he mentioned Stargoys in the live chat. Um, it's my goal to have to come back from this to either to, to probably go shoot some Thargoids explore other aspects of the game all right that does it for now thank you very much for watching keith drove's live stream we'll be back on the live stream shortly um hope you enjoyed this video have a good evening